you okay. agree with the Sharia law? Yes, absolutely. 100%. From beginning so, to end. So, the Sharia law is to kill people, right? Punish them and no. kill them. If they don't no, do what the Muslims you... want them to. No. I give references from the Quran uh, for you to answer this point that this is not what Islam teaches. You've got a, a, a more of a brainwashed extremist idea of what Islam is that has been taught in the media. But I did expect you as a person to be more well kind of acquainted that what the media says is not the truth. So when, so whatever kind of view that a lot of Americans have today of Muslims is absolutely not true. And I would recommend people to pick up a, a copy of the Quran and read what the Quran actually says. Instead of listening to what the media says or what is commonly uh, told about Muslims. Actually, if you have a Muslim friend, you can look at their life, how they live their life, or you open the Quran yourself and read. That's the best because that's the source. Do Muslims still co uh, consider Christians and Jews as infidels? What do you mean by infidels? It's an English word, so it's not Arabic word. What do you mean by infidel? Uh, infidel meaning that the non-Muslim and they are worthy of death. No, we don't. We don't believe that we, we kill any non-Muslims. And I quoted verses of the Quran for you. Chapter 2, verse 190. Chapter 2, verse 194. Chapter 60, uh, chapter 60, verse 8. Chapter 5, verse 32. All of these are given references of verses for people to see, to, to see that this is not the case. It says that you can lie and deceive the infidel, which they call the Christians and the Jews, that you can lie and deceive them. You can pretend to be their friends. You can move into the country, quote, not quite like that, but whatever it takes to deceive them in order to destroy them. What do you think about that? Uh, I think about what what uh, what you just said is the lie. This is what I would say. And I would challenge anyone to open the Quran or Islamic teachings where it tells us to lie. How do I know you're telling the truth now since I know you that... The Quran. Muslim are taught to lie. You have to establish to me where Muslims are taught to lie. Can you please do that? With the, I just told you about uh, in where, order which, to... Where's the difference? In order to deceive, to befriend, in order to destroy them. Where is the difference? Where is that in the Quran? I, mean, where? I don't know. They may have taken it out now. It was there years ago. You, you made it up. With, but, with all the no, respect, I didn't make it up. This is something... I've seen it in there before. Oh, okay. But I did not make Where? it up. But Can you show me? Have, some, have one of your little Muslim friends show you. I don't know. No, no, I know I know the Quran. All of it from beginning to end. And there's not, if you claiming is, when I say you made it up, I'm, I'm saying that based on me knowing the Quran. Because there's no such thing in the Quran. So if you make the claim, I believe you have to substantiate it with evidence, isn't it? No. That's how the... <laughs> oh, okay. So you just make claims. Okay. No, I'm not making, <laughs> okay. I'm just telling you what was in there. It may not be in there now. But let me ask. Oh, no, you it's support? never been there. I would advise people to do this to open the Bible and see what Paul says, that he becomes a Jew for the Jewish person, he becomes a Christian for a Christian, he becomes an atheist for the atheist, to bring them into his faith. He says, if, if, my, if my lie leads people to righteousness, then why do you call me a sinner? So if, you, if you've got an issue with lying to support belief, then you should have an issue with Paul. But Islam doesn't have that, be that belief. 